So first of all, thank you, Brett, for giving us the opportunity of speaking in the public. We're here to speak about Avora. It's probably the craziest start startup that you're gonna hear about. It was founded in Shanghai, in China, uh, two years ago, September 2016. And uh, there we started our bachelor degree. So this is uh, a university that provides you with the space in order to get the bachelor degree, and at the same time, you develop real businesses. So we started there for f four months in Shanghai, learning about the market and also exploring different opportunities and hunting for trends. And then we moved to Spain, where we have been one year and a half. Tanji Balaising, sorry for my accent, okay? We just moved two weeks ago. <laughs> uh, and Tanji Balaising our, our, our businesses and making them more real. And then we moved uh, to Seattle two weeks ago and with the vision of scaling up our businesses and taking them to another level. And in, in Avara, we work with uh, four key ingredients, that is trend hunting technology, sustainability, and product development. And this is, uh, all, all our businesses are working with this. And Avara works, serves to us as an umbrella that holds different projects and opportunities. And here we have uh, our two CEOs from B Monkeys and Olay, that is uh, two of our main businesses that are in Avara, and they're gonna give a very brief explanation of them. Okay, so as Martin was saying, we, we are youngsters, as you can see also. And as youngsters, we have really experienced in first hand the evolution of smartphones. And smartphones, we are giving them new uses. And with these new uses, we realize that there are new limitations for them. And that's mainly why B-Monkeys was born, to tackle all of these limitations through smartphone accessories. So what we do mainly, it's we are trend hunters for the latest phone accessory products. And we go, as we were saying, all over the world, traveling during four years in our degree. And so we, we see these new trends and we introduce them into new markets. And how we do that is through two lines of businesses. The first one is B2C. In B2C, we want to be, we are the craziest, youngest, and wildest brand of smartphones. Okay, and we provide you to your door this, this new cool stuff for making your phone easier or smarter. And then our experience in B2C made us realize how, how, how much potential all of these products have for advertisement. We realized that we were selling one and there was 10 people reaching for us to see what, who are we, no? what are we doing, and all these new products that we are bringing. And realize how many phones you've seen today, how many phones you've seen only in this event. Imagine all of these phones promoting your company, promoting Google Cloud right now, or any kind of business or message that you want to deliver to specific targets. And in, back in Europe, we've developed over 30 marketing campaigns with each of them with different objectives from making a brand go viral until connecting people in, in a way never seen before with the most used device that are phones right now. So if you are working in marketing, you are a CEO or you have any kind of startup and you are looking for new ways of advertisement, we will be around today. And now I led you with Adrian Gonzalez, all CEO. <clears throat> okay, hello. Um, okay, I want you to imagine one thing, okay? Imagine the Tesla technology that is now in the cars, how emerging it is, how famous it is. I want you to put this technology in an old American muscle car. Okay, so this is what we mainly do with OLA bikes. So what we do is we combine two things. is the old riding experience of riding a motorbike with the latest technology. And <clears throat> here it is, our first prototype. Uh, you could see it like, looks like an old bike, but what it has inside is, is the engine is full electric. Uh, the top speed of this engine is 65 miles per hour. And it lasts for 150 miles, more or less. Uh, it's all made by fiber, fi carbon fiber, so it's light. So it's easy to use. And moreover, you can use everything in this bike is controlled by an app. So you can do whatever with only an app. So this is our first prototype and we produce in China. And we are looking for investors to make this prototype into a, move it into a mass market. And we have some investor interested in China, but we want to explore USA market and USA uh, investors in this case. So thank you. Yeah, and thank you very much for listening to us and we're willing to answer any questions and sit around with you. Thank you.
Actually, uh, we kind of not know that because uh, that's working on our engineers. So, well, actually, I don't know what you meant right now. Yeah, so that's this project we, we started around two months ago and now the first thing was to, to form the, the, the project team, basically the core team and the engineers and also our designers team are, are working on all the, the specifications of the bikes itself and we are already working with a, with a factory in China that the, like the structure is built but now we want to, to add the latest technology inside. Uh, what do you mean with? <laughs> There's been major protocols that are going on. ERSE and uh, 5G and Sirius just going out with pipelines lines that basically say, here I am in the infrastructure so I don't get run over by the vehicles that are in front of me. <laughs> I'll what, what, what? <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. So you mean like the five, five G? Yeah. Okay. So not yet. We will check it out and and introduce it. Possibly. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, we can speak after also. Thank you. Uh, we have, f you mean for the bikes or the or B monkeys? Everything. Yeah, we actually in, in monkeys we we produce half of the products uh, back in China, and then we are now producing in Spain also. Okay, yeah, we can we can definitely speak. So well, the mainly connection it's these two projects are under our line of trend hunting, and what we what we do is research like what are the biggest trends. So one of the biggest trends we realized that it's a smartphone usage, and what are the limitations in this smartphone usage? And another huge trend it's now electric electric engines and also transportation, new, new methodologies no, of transportation, and we also combining in this in OLA is what we are trying to do, to adapt it old-fashioned and latest technology. Uh, so this is, I think, I believe is the, the, only, the only university that does a bachelor degree uh, that it's based on business, but practical business. I don't know. But I think it's the only one. It's Mondragon Team Academy. After, if you want, we can sit and we explain you further more the program. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This photo, uh, the, this prototype, the first prototype, as it's not made in an assembly line. The cost of this one is around 5,000 US dollars. So our main, po uh, uh, one of our main values or ideas was to decrease this. May meanwhile, we do it in a mass market, so a big amount of motorbikes. The price, the aiming price is around $1,500. So we want to make it affordable for, for everyone. That's our mission. It's not super expensive uh, motorbikes. Okay. One more question. We can personalize it, but it will increase the price, you know. <laughs> okay, last question. Yeah.
Yeah, these ones are around six hours. So you put it when you go to sleep, and next morning you have it full charge. Thank you. <laughs>